Hey, what is up everyone? Travis Smith here and we're at Maxo today. We're gonna be filming an arm workout. We're gonna do three exercises for buys, three for tries. Kind of film some like tutorial explanation type stuff. Let's get at it. No basketball player. Yeah. So the first exercise we're gonna do is something called spider, dumbbell spider curls. So you wanna set your bench up at a low incline. So one of the main reasons, first, that I like to start with this exercise is because I like doing things that are have independent weight in each hand, so it's not like a bar. So then I can really tell and make sure that both arms are working to the same capacity. And I can also tell if one of them feels, you know, kind of tweaked or injured, so. Always do that, make sure everyone, both of them are even before going into the two hand stuff. So why I like starting with those spider curls before was because if you look at the strength profile of the motion, at the top, you're lifting the dumbbell straight up so that's gonna be where you're gonna get the most tension, right at the top, at the squeeze. So, now I come into these cable curls. When I'm standing like this, you'll see you get a huge stretch at the bottom, so therefore it's loading, you know, the stretch position. So you're kind of loading both positions between the two exercises. And then next you'll see how I go into the next one. All right, so, so far, we did an exercise to load the squeeze position. We did an exercise to load the stretch position. Now, what we're gonna do is dumbbell hammer curls. Super basic, so even if you're training at home, because I know a lot of people can't go to gyms right now, you can do this. This hits the brachialis from the forearm. So the first two exercises we did hit the inner and the outer head of the bicep. And now, as you turn your wrist to a neutral grip, it's gonna hit the outside, so the brachialis from the forearm. So all three exercises for biceps are done. Now whenever I finish training a muscle, I always stretch it out. It's kind of tricky to stretch your bicep, honestly, but what I do, I set up a cable, put a handle on it, put it just above your shoulder, rotate your hand outward or inward like that, then take a step forward. You should be able to see it stretch. You can kind of see the muscle fibers in there. So yeah, it's just to uh, prevent injury and reduce soreness the next in the coming days. So I hold that for about 30 seconds for three rounds on each arm. And now we're gonna move into triceps. So on most exercises I do two to three warm-ups, but especially on triceps on the first exercise, I do a ton, honestly like five, six, you know, sometimes even seven, just to get your elbows warm. Because when you start like doing a pretty heavy press downs or any real tricep extension with any decent weight, it puts a ton of stress on your elbows, so you wanna make sure those are feeling good and ready to go. All right, so we just got through the press downs. So what I did with those is I focused on keeping my elbow back and pressing down and that hits the inside head of the tricep. So now we remove the underhand extension, which is like this. So what's that? That hits the outside head of the tricep instead. And you'll also notice that instead of having my elbows behind me, I keep them a bit more out front. So finally for triceps, our last exercise, you're gonna do something that stretches the tricep layout. 
So I'm gonna do a line. I like to lie on the floor and do a overhead uh, dumbbell skull crusher basically. So I'm gonna have two dumbbells, go like that. The reason I like to do it on the floor is because it just gives you a good gauge of how far you wanna stretch down. So check this out. We just wrapped up triceps, so now just like all the other muscle groups I train, finish with a stretch. So I like to use a band, pretty medium resistance I would say, so I use the green one usually. I just wrap around the bottom of my foot and then extend my hand and elbow above my head. So one of my uh, goals when I do this or things I'm thinking about is getting my elbow as far up in the air as possible because that's gonna stretch out the tricep more. So that is gonna be uh, dependent on your mobility, how high you can get your elbow up, but just yeah, take it up as high as you can and try and get a deep stretch in your tricep and maybe play around with exactly where your elbow is and just to try and get a deeper stretch.